Hi, welcome back to my channel. Let's do daisy flower this time. Let's prepare our stuff, our materials. We're gonna need yellow and white yarn. But you can use any yarn that you like. And I'm gonna use this hook, 2.5 millimeters hook, stitch marker, needles, scissors, and a stick. This stick gonna be the stick for the daisy flower. Let's go! Okay, let's begin. Let's do magic ring and we put six single crochet in the magic ring. Now that's the first single crochet. Don't forget to put stitch marker into the first single crochet so we can know we can go back to the first single crochet okay now after we're done with the six single crochet let's pull the yarn and for the second round we're going increase into the each single crochet that means we're gonna do two single crochet in each single crochet don't forget to put back the stitch marker so in the second round the total is gonna be 12 single crochet I'm gonna skip the video until the end of the second round. You can pause the video until you're finished with the second round. Okay, I'm almost finished with the second round. So the third round, we're gonna do one single crochet and one increase. So that means we're gonna have 18 single crochet in the total. Okay guys, you can pause the video and you can finish your third round. We're gonna meet you at the end of the third round. Alright, that's my last increase, my last two single crochet. And after this, we're gonna do slip stitch. And we're gonna make two, okay? We're gonna make two this circle. And we're gonna meet you with the second circle now I have two parts too we're gonna put this side together with the second part that's the inside part so we're gonna attach it like this for the second part don't cut the yarn first and we're gonna continue all this and we're gonna attach it together by doing single crochet into every stitch first thing first let's slip stitch after we do slip stitch and we're gonna do one chain so now one chain and we're gonna do single crochet into the same place and all around into the circle it's supposed to be like this slowly but sure and don't forget to count it until 18 single crochet we're gonna meet you almost at the end of the single crochet don't don't do it all because we're gonna put the stuff inside this circle Let's put the summies inside this circle that's going to be the middle of the flower. I'm going to use a yarn that already left from the previous project. 
i'm gonna do it like this uh you can do as much as you like but i think we don't need super much we're just gonna need a little bit so it's gonna be like a little plumpy a little fluffy so it's gonna be nice if you don't have this yarn you can do that um that stuffy the white one so let's do it Okay, I think I need a little bit plumpier, a little bit fluffier. I'm gonna put this tubby again inside. I think I'm done with the fluffies, with the stuffies inside. So let's close this round let's close it up with the single crochet and don't forget it's gonna be 18 single crochet and after this we're gonna move to the white petals we're gonna use the white yarn okay to close it up we're just gonna one slip stitch and one chain to secure it and we're just gonna cut the yarn This long will do, so let's cut it there. Okay, let's start with the white yarn. I'm gonna put my hook three stitches before the last slip stitch. We're gonna do seven chains, seven chains into that every single crochet okay let's pull one yarn first now one chain two chains three chains that's four chains that five chains six and seven now let's put one single crochet into the fifth chains and onto the first chains that means we're gonna do five single crochet that's one single crochet we're going next two single crochet three single crochet four and that's the last the last one the fifth one after this we're gonna slip stitch into the next single crochet into the next stitch and i'm gonna show you one more time to do the petals so let's slip stitch and we'll do seven chains that is one two three four five six seven we're gonna skip two and we're gonna do single crochet on the third stitch on the third chain and we're gonna do one single crochet five times five single crochet Now after this we're gonna do slip stitch and let's redo it again seven chains skip two and five single crochet let's meet you up until the last battle so you can pause the video and we'll see you there so that's my last paddles 
I'm gonna do chains first, skip two, and one single crochet on five chains. After that, we're gonna slip stitch on the next stitch and one chain to make it secure. Now we're gonna cut it super a little bit long, <laughs> a little bit longer than usual actually, because we're gonna make like bone inside the petals. I'm gonna do a bit much like this much. So let's start. Let's pull the yarn until the end and let's prepare our needle after this and we're gonna make the petals stiff like the real petal it's gonna be like this so it won't be pretty but we'll make it pretty let's take our needle and put the yarn inside the needle okay this is what i do i'm gonna put this into the between and we're gonna put in the middle of the battle we can find the middle of the paddle and we're just going back i'm trying to do from the you know this side the right side and going to the left side but if you cannot do this you can do other uh, other method you can use your own method just be confident with it and we're gonna put it like this I'm gonna take several yarn and I'm gonna go through it like this like this okay we're gonna go back to the other side this is this is like the right side but I'm gonna do to the left side Sometimes if I cannot do it to the left side, I'm gonna just take any yarn on the middle like this. Well, we picture it as a bone. We picture it as a bone in the middle of the battle, so it will be stiff. And you will see the difference after I pull this yarn. Don't pull it too tight, so it's gonna be like this it's okay not to tie it not to you know not to lose too let me show you one more time i put the yarn this on the side below the petal and i'm gonna go up to the petal and goes back to the middle this part is gonna take a little bit longer than usual because we're gonna do it like sewing you know like sewing it one by one but we gotta be patient because well it will be pretty i promise you it will be pretty okay we're gonna do it like this you can use your method okay just be confident with it and we're gonna do it all that's a big difference right so we're gonna do it all until the last battle and i'll see you there okay i am at the last battle and it's gonna be the last one i like how it turns out and it looks super pretty let's do it one more time the last one okay 
And after this, let's put the yarn into the middle. So it's like securing all the yarns and it won't be going anywhere. You can go through anywhere, just like go through it like four or five times or as much as you like. We're almost done and let's put the stick on the back side of the daisy flower and we'll be done. So it's gonna be like this. I'm gonna put it from the pillow side like this from the second round from the outside. So it's gonna be like this and it's done. Okay, thank you all for watching this video and I'll see you in the other tutorials. Bye-bye!